That may be it. Is it enough? Christy, he's got it. Oh, and he oh. walks up to him. Stan Chaplow for conversion. He eliminates Bob Chan. So you start off with kunai, huh? All right. I think this might be D-Chong. I think this might be D-Chong. Oh, Germ the Worm, thank you very much for the dono. Appreciate that, boss. AC Wilcox, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you for the sub. That makes it one out of five. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So you start off the round with Kunai. Bam, you got the hit. You guys both started off with a special move. He neutral jumps. Nothing there. You're playing it safe. Cool. He does flip. You still have the life lead. You still have the life lead right here. He does a gram. Throw another kunai. You get the hit. He switches. Ah. That is your first mistake. Okay. First mistake is... You could have hit him right there, but you pressed the button late. So you reacted... Even though you saw him jump and then you jumped, you pressed the button late. Look at how much of a split second that was, by the way. If you were just a split second earlier. You literally barely missed him. So you messed that up. By the way, he could have punished you on landing frames right here. So your first mistake was... You pressed the button wrong. That's that's your first mistake. And it led you to be in a bad situation because he could have punished you. And he does punish you. He does punish you. Now see, he did you didn't need to jump right here. You know? You didn't you didn't need to jump right there. There was no need for you to jump right there because you had the life lead and also you could have anti aired that, right? No, you couldn't have anti aired that was too far. Maybe that was too far. So maybe you were trying to get a cross up or you were trying to air to air him, regardless. Regardless, you made the mistake by jumping forward and then also pressing the button at the wrong time. You get punished for this. 93 seconds left. He doesn't even punish you hard for it, though. But here's an error on your part that I need you to understand. You pressed stand short after he did stand jab and you got hit. You got hit by this stand jab, David, and then you, you press a button right afterwards. That's not that's not a good thing. You don't want to press a button when you're getting hit. You know, when, when you get hit, it, it, unless you 100% know for a fact that he's going to try to approach you, 
that's when you, I guess, press a button, but that's that takes a lot of time for you to understand how you can open your, your opponent like that. But for now, you just get hit by a jab and your immediate reaction is to go for a stand short. That's not good. That's another mistake right there. Even though it worked, it's another mistake. Stand, crowd, you, so you do stand short into crouch short. Into crouch strong. But notice, you see you whiff this crouch strong. So here's another mistake. It, within seven seconds, you've made three to four mistakes now. Within seven seconds. There was no need for you to whiff that crouch strong. Because you whiffed the crouch strong, he could have actually whiff punished you. But he didn't whiff punish you. That's his mistake. On top of your mistake. He, he whiffs a button right in front of you. You don't whiff punish. That's okay because it's Street Fighter V. But it's a mistake on your end. It is another mistake on your end. So add up. That's five now. That's five mistakes that you've made. So you guys both back off. You have the life lead right now. You have the life lead right now. What happens? He takes the risk. You see, you have the life lead and he takes the risk with 91 seconds left. Why would he do the run when there's 91 seconds left and you could have just literally reacted and roundhoused him for a crush counter? But instead, what happens here? You walk back. Oh, was that a dash? Did he do a dash? Sorry. He didn't do the run. He does a dash right here. Oh, okay. He does a dash. My apologies. So that's not a mistake on your end. He throws a jab out. All right. Not going to really whiff punish a jab. He throws a stand short. Like, look at where he pressed these buttons for, for, uh, for a second. Look at where he presses these buttons. You see that? Look at that again. Look how far away you are. For the crouch jab. And then look how far away you are for the stand short. Bro, what? Seriously? Okay. So you throw the roundhouse and look at that whiff. Look at that fat whiff right there. Why would you do that? Now, maybe it was to set up the crush counter, but you see, you could have gotten whiff punished here with a slide. You could have gotten whiff punished here with a slide. If, it, if he was a better player, he could have whiff punished you right there because a better player probably wouldn't have pressed those buttons right here. They probably would have been more patient, but because he was pressing buttons, he was not as focused. So you got away with the roundhouse and then the visual effect. Bam, you get him with the crush counter. Okay, so what do you do after the crush counter? Right now you have the life lead, 89 seconds. Let's see the setup. You do a setup for a meaty overhead. Uh, see, I don't like meaty. I don't like that setup right there, David, because you want to you want to bring your overheads in when it's when the game is so close to being over when the round is about to be lost for him that's when you start bringing in the overhead play and also overhead does not become scary when you do it as a meaty like that with ibuki because look i have all day to react to this see as he's waking up you're doing the overhead show that one more time Look, he hasn't even gone up yet and you're going for the overhead. Why would he not block right here? He has all day. He has all day to block that. Right, and then what do you do to yourself? You leave yourself at a minus two situation. Even though it was meaty, you leave yourself at a minus two situation. For what reason? Now he can press a button at you. You, you could have just done... See, after this crush counter uh, sweep, you could have done a better setup into some sort of cross-up or a jump kunai into cross-up or something like that, you see? But instead, you do dash into overhead. Now, if you're going to... Don't, I don't mind the dash, but maybe you could have done dash into frame trap or dash into throw because, look, he has no meter right now. He has no meter right now, and he's in young Zeku mode. This is a hard knockdown, by the way, so he can't do his bullshit wake-up roll. He can't do his back roll in this situation. This is a hard knockdown. But what do you do? You go for the overhead. And it's a super early overhead that he can react to and block. 
And now you're minus two. It's his turn. You see, you gave up your turn for no reason. You could have probably threw him. He would have more... A top player or anybody, they should take the throw in that situation. And you would have gotten an even healthier life lead. You would have gotten an even healthier life lead. Or you could have pressured him with stand jab, walk up, stand jab, stand strong, all of that good stuff. Yeah, so you see, if you... I'm not saying that it doesn't work. It can work, but you're not going to, that's not going to work on a top player, bro. That's just not going to work against somebody who's a good player because you did that overhead so early. I would have seen that three years ago and just blocked it or wake up, do something, you know, or I would probably wouldn't have wake up, done something if I had, if I had no meter, but I would have blocked it knowing that it's my turn right afterwards. And look what happened. That exact same thing happened. It's his turn now. So he presses a crouch jab and you have to block it. So he's technically on offense now. Stand strong. You're forced to block. Stand fierce, right? Stand short, whiffs it right in front of you. That's okay, it's a stand short. You're not going to really whip punish that. You throw out a jab right there. I wonder why. I don't know why you throw out this jab. But maybe it was to catch a dash. Or to stop him from walking at you. Okay, I can understand that. But now he dashes in again and he's plus two again. He's continuing his pressure. Ooh, look at this now. Why would you get counter hit right there? Hmm? Why would you get counter hit right there? Let's look at that one more time. What caused the counter hit? You blocked the crouch jab, which is plus two. You have no meter. And you went for a crouching short, which is four frames for Ibuki. Horrible. That is a horrible mistake right there. No one, so you see that's twice now where one, you got hit with his crouching jab and then you press the standing short or you got hit by his standing jab and then you press the standing short previously. But because it worked, you maybe thought that you could do it again. But you see, that was a bad thing that you had done previously with your standing short because you had gotten hit and now you block a crouching jab and he's plus two you decide to press a crouching short for what reason let him throw you you have the life lead if he if he would have done optimal shit right here he could have swept you because he got the counter hit he got the counter hit stand strong right there he could have swept you three frames would have traded since he's plus two, stand strong is, let's see, let's check Zeku's frame data, yeah? Let's pick it up real quick. So Street Fighter V, young Zeku. His stand medium punch is five frames. So no, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have traded at all. You would have gotten counter hit if you did crouch jab because of the priority system. He does stand short. You got lucky with that. He should have swept you. He tries to continue the pressure. Stand short again. He's plus three right here. Do you press a button? No, you don't. Good. You don't press a button right here. His stand strong did not link. What does he do? He goes straight into the stand fierce. What does that tell you though, David? He goes straight into the stand fierce. He doesn't continue his pressure. Notice this. After the stand strong, he's not walking at you. He's done it twice already. After stand strong, he's not walking at you. He's pressing a button immediately. Notice this. Watch. He presses stand short right here. Instead of pressing stand strong and walking up at you. So he's ending his pressure early. He's ending his pressure early. There's no need for you to press buttons right here because he's ending his pressure early. See, he's not even doing optimal things right here. And then he tries to continue it with the risky run. You see that stand short into run was punishable. He's minus seven right here. You could have pressed the button. He has no way of continuing his pressure against you without taking risk. Stand short, stand strong. He hasn't even tried to throw you yet. 
into Stan Fierce. The run is negative, bro. Look. Especially even on hit. Look, 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 look. He cancels it right here. Minus 55. Minus 9. Minus 8. Minus 7. Minus 6. Minus 5. Minus 4. Yeah, you're you're mad plus in this situation. Stan Fierce. It doesn't work. He tries to jump to continue his pressure. See, he tries to jump to continue. He does a special move. He does something. He, he doesn't walk at you to continue his pressure. He does a jump or a run or something to continue the pressure. And you see, right here, you jumped out because you were getting near the corner. And you felt like, man, I can't really handle this pressure right now. So I got to jump out after I block this stand fierce. Instead of walking up at him because he's minus eight right here. See, you could have walked up stand strong. You could have walked up stand medium kick. You could have walked up stand short and tried to continue some sort of pressure. But instead, what you do is jump. Now, jumping in this range is not a bad thing, essentially, because Zeku has a hard time anti-airing. And you could have crossed, uh, you could have crossed them up. And it would have been hard for you to deal with that. But because he is in the life deficit, and because he has not really hit you with something hard felt the need to jump at you to continue his pressure so if you would have just chilled you could have anti-aired this jumping from him instead you guys both jump and he presses his button before you do continues his pressure now you're back in the corner stand fierce my bet right now, my bet right now is that, I don't remember what happened, but my bet right now is that he's going to try to run at you, he's going to try to dash at you, jump at you, or press a stand short. That's my bet right now. I don't think he's going to walk at you. Oh, you do a roundhouse. See? Oh, look at that. Look at that. So you do your roundhouse immediately, and he whiff punishes. Maybe because of the range that he was in, and felt at that moment he felt the need not to go in. I'm not too sure. But one thing's one thing is for sure in my head is that you didn't need to take that risk. You didn't need to take that roundhouse risk. Like why would you press roundhouse right there? See, he's minus eight right here. You could have actually walked up again and pressed stand strong, walked up again and pressed medium kick, and you wouldn't have needed to walk up far. Ibuki's uh, walk speed is very quick. You could have walked up, pressed medium kick right there. You could have walked up, pressed stand strong, stand short, but instead you go for a roundhouse, and look what happens to the roundhouse. It whiffs again. But this time, he punishes you for it. Now you're hella in the corner. So that's a... Uh, we're counting the mistakes right now. Now you're in the corner. Stand, stand fierce. Another stand fierce. By the way, I think you can EX Rida. If you block that, I'm pretty sure you can EX Rida. So if he does minus 8 stand fierce, you could EX Rida that. Again, you try to jump out. Why? Because you're in the corner. But look at the risk that he takes. Look at the risk that he takes. He doesn't even try to walk at you. He just goes for a light Hazanto. Like, why? That was just automatic. Look at that. That was automatic. Before you even jumped, he was going to do it. Look. Because there's no way he reacted to the jump this quickly and went into light Hazanto. Look at that. He was already going to do light Hazanto. And if you block that, you would have punished him. See, even if you don't have the life lead, there's 76 seconds left and your opponent's going ham. He's going ham right now. Why would he do like Ozanto? You could have literally punished that with a back throw. You could have punished that with a jab target combo. But instead, you jump because you're in the corner. And you mess up the, the, the medium kick. See, look what happens. Look what happens here. You press the medium kick incorrectly because of the light Ozanto. Now you're punishable. Now you're punishable. So he punishes you with a jab. See, you, you're, you're in a punishable state right here. And yet you still think that you can do medium kick. What made you think that you could do medium kick right there? That, his light Ozanto recovered way quicker. You got counter hit. He could have comboed that. 
He doesn't combo. He doesn't combo the jab jab into Hosanto. He, he, I don't know what he's thinking right now, but look what you do. You got, you got hit. You get antsy right there by jumping out. You press a medium kick here. That's another mistake. That's two right there within the 75th second. That's two mistakes. Here's the third mistake by you pressing the medium kick. You get counter hit. And here's the fourth mistake, the worst mistake of them all. You got counter hit. And then you press what? I bet you you press the jab. Oh, you press the, you press the, oh, I was going to say, I bet you press the short. You press a jab after you get cr crouch jab counter hit. You got counter hit again. You, so here's another pattern of you getting hit and you pressing a button right after you getting hit. You were just mashing in that situation. You pressed crouch jab four times. You got counter hit. Again, he doesn't optimize this situation. Or does he? Oh, he does optimize it. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Four mistakes. Four mistakes in how many seconds? In... In how many seconds you do this four mistakes? You do, you do four mistakes in two seconds. In a matter of two seconds. Not even two seconds, a second and a half, actually. Four mistakes in a second and a half? That means inside of your brain, in one second, it caused you to shit on yourself. You literally shat in your pants in this situation for you to cause that mistake to happen. Your brain was like, mistake, 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 in one second, in one and a half seconds. Acknowledge that. Understand that that's what literally happened inside of your brain. Your brain, in one second, in a second and a half, caused four four errors inside inside the game that is a huge problem that is a huge huge problem right there when in that one second your brain could have just been like chill but instead it was like oops 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 that's the pattern that happened inside your brain oops 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 and look at what happened because of that body for what reason there was no need you were there was no need for that all of that damage in one second look at what happens look at what happened in one second you made four mistakes that led to that much life being lost that red bar right there is the result of one second of an error inside of your brain so when people say oh man like you're not really thinking that fast are you you're not really going you're not really in that in depth look what happens when you don't go that in depth when a thought enters your brain you you made four mistakes in one second that led to that much life being lost come on Follows it up. He should have threw you right there. Follows it up with a plus three move. What happens after he's plus three? Oh, finally, you don't press a button right here. But look, you're about to die. Or actually, do you press a button? Let's see. Let's look at this one more time. Do you press a button after you block the stand short? You tried to tech the throw, right? You tried to tech the throw. That's okay. That's okay, but look at what happens. Look at your buttons, David. Look at your buttons, David. What just happened? What just happened? Let's look at it one more time. Let's look at it one more time. Look at when you press that jab, by the way. Look at when you press that jab. You pressed that jab on the second frame of him pressing his medium punch. Like, it was almost like he pressed his medium punch and you did this. Wait, Square gonna do anything? Oh, shit. Back, let's see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Look, 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 look. Look at what happens. This is what happened. 
Okay, you blocked the medium punch, and this is what happened. On the second frame, as soon as you blocked that medium punch, your brain did this. As soon as you blocked the medium punch... Your brain presses that jab. That tells me that you didn't just press a jab after you blocked the medium punch. That tells me that you were trying to press the jab again. Right after the stand short. Because you press your jab, but it, the, it registers on the second frame. So you pressed your jab late. So you were trying to mash a jab in between. But you pressed it late and that's you got lucky right here you should have gotten counter hit right here you should have gotten counter hit right here so you now have pressed the button you you've now pressed a jab or and or a short what is it four five four times in a row four times in a row or five times after you've gotten hit the previous three four times why? Why would you press that jab? Block. And he does another negative move. See, you don't even have the life lead right now, man. You don't have the life lead right now, and he wants to just continue applying pressure. That's another gap that you could have hit him out. Look at, he's minus 55 in this situation. <laughs> Look, he has a healthy life lead. Look what would have happened, man. Minus 51, right? Look at this. Look at this. You could have literally back through him. If you were reacting enough, you could have back through him and or target combo into V-Trigger. You could have started your bullshit. You, he could have lost because of this. He could have lost because of this. Right in front of you. Through you. Because of your failure of reaction. And then you press a button on wake up. You press a crouch jab on wake up. So let's watch that round in real time. And let's see if you can pick out your mistakes. Let's see. I'm going to watch this in real time. And just l after I explained. After I explained everything that went wrong. Let's look at it in real time. Yeah. Round one. So you see, look at what, what, what second did that round end in, by the way? What second did that end in? That round ended in the, that round ended in the 61st second. Okay, so. That's 38 seconds. You lost in 38 seconds. Damn, you lost in 38 seconds. You lost in 38 seconds. And how many mistakes? Let's count. How about this? Let's count how many mistakes you made in 38 seconds. In 38 seconds, man. Think about that. That's 38 seconds. That's a fucking... That's instant in time. In 38 seconds, let's see how many mistakes you made. One, two, three, four, because you whiffed the crouch strong. Five, because you whiffed a roundhouse. 
six because of the media overhead setup and you put yourself in a minus two situation when there was no need for that and it was a terrible setup by the way that could probably only work when you're about to kill your opponent but we could talk about that another time that's six mistakes seven seven because you press the button after you block that that's seven mistakes eight mistakes because you didn't react to his run right after this you didn't react to this that's your eighth mistake nine because you tried to jump out even though it's a good range for you to jump out you don't at this point you guys are even on life and he's shown that he's going ham so that's a mistake on your part that's nine mistakes 10 mistakes because you didn't press the button early enough and you got air to aired. 11 mistakes because you just whiffed another roundhouse. 12 mistakes, 13 mistakes, 14 mistakes, 15 mistakes. I'm going to count this jab as another mistake. That's 16. 17 because you didn't punish that. And 18 mistakes in 38 seconds. I hope round two is better. So do I. That's eight, 18 mistakes, David. You got you to gotta understand this is not... That's a problem right there. In 38 seconds, your 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 brain was unable to like it just kept you were you were taking action on every single thought, you know? That was a lot of mistakes in 38 seconds. And I I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be like I'm not trying to be mean, but this is just the way that I teach. This is the way that I analyze shit. This is the only way that you're going to learn by me being a hard ass. I'm not I don't want to give you fucking I'm not going to sugarcoat some shit. I'm going to tell you where you fuck up until you fix it. That's how I that's how I had to learn because in Japan they don't they don't do what I'm doing right now when you go to Japan. They don't do what I'm doing right now. They just sit there and shit on you until you figure it out yourself. Until you have to see oh, fuck I'm making so many mistakes. So I hope you're not feeling bad. I know I know that you're not feeling bad, but just for those that, you know, think I might be going a little too hard. Okay, round two. Let's check out round two. This is just one fucking hell of a scramble round. This is hella scrambly. This is so scrambled. That was it. That was the end of the round. But look at look at how this entire round was a scramble. There was no control on either one either player. There was no control at all. No control on your end and no control on his end. Just look at how this match flows. It's just a complete scramble. Complete scramble situation. It's like the whole round was a scramble. Everybody's jumping. Everybody's just doing shit. Nobody has chilled for longer than I want Nobody has crouched for longer than one second this entire round is both players just going ham right now Nobody is crouching for one second. Everybody's just doing shit. This is a scrambly ass fucking round. Look at this Buttons buttons special moves buttons jumping buttons Look, this is the longest you held down block for. <laughs> that was the longest you held down block for. A second. Sorry. <laughs> but that's because you were being pressured right there. There's no holding down block in neutral. Both of you guys are just wanting to do some shit. Look at the trades right here. That was game over. But you, reacting to this in lag, it's not even about the, like... I'm not gonna lie, this is that match you see on stream at Major and nobody know who both the players are on off, no offense. No offense.
Now, this wasn't laggy. I don't think this was laggy. But here's the thing. All right, let's try to break this down, right? He starts off the round with another Bushin flip, and you get the, you get the jump kunai. All right. I'm not going to say that's a mistake right there because it's a typical thing for an Ibuki player to do. Even though he's shown that he's going in on you, you should have been the better player and been like, I don't need to take a risk of jump kunai. I don't need that risk at the moment, but it's okay. You're Ibuki. I understand that you want to do that. So you get the hit, right? What do you do next? You go in for the attack, obviously. You're going to do your sequence, but he wakes up DPs. Man, what a motherfucker. Wakes up DPs when he could have just taken the throw? Wake up DP when you could have just taken the throw? And if you blocked, that would have been a good 40%? All right. That should tell you something. Your opponent's kind of nutty. Why would he wake up DP right there when he could have just taken the throw? To be honest, I don't know how Zeku plays works. Well, I mean, it's not so much of the Zeku in this situation. It's more so of, like, what's what's going on. Okay. Bam. Here's, here's your first mistake. You, like, okay, you have, a, you have a life lead right here, David. And you want to jump. You have a life lead right here. You have the meter advantage and you want to jump. And you guys both fucked up. And you're pressing your medium kick at a wrong time, by the way, right? Because I don't think that if... No, that would have been the right time. Uh, it just didn't work out for you in that situation. Okay, stand short. You're minus two. Why would you press stand short right here? You should have pressed stand jab. You're plus on jab. But instead, you press stand short as your closest button. Not a good thing in this situation. He could have pressed crouching jab to counter. He, he messed up his timing. You do a crouching short right after, and then crouching strong. You did the same exact sequence in the previous round, and I'm going to show you. You did the same exact sequence in the previous round. Stand short, crouch short, crouch, crouch strong. See that? Stand short, crouch short, crouch strong. What is that? I don't understand why you're doing that. So we go back. We go back. You should do a stand jab right here, but you don't. Instead, you do stand short, crouch short into crouch strong. And that whiffed again, and you could have. That's another mistake on your end. He could have punished you for that. And then you do another mistake by going a full screen dash to the space, and he punishes you for it. And you do wake up EXDP when he could have hit you with some damage, but the life, life is not. It's not worth it in this situation. You're down around and you're going to take a risk of doing an EXDP like that. It worked, but it doesn't mean that it's always going to work. That's a bigger risk. That's a bigger risk for you to take right there. But it worked. And then what do you do? Okay, jump kunai, you keep it safe, but then you jump again. And you got anti -aired. Why? Why would you jump again right here? I mean, he is clearly in the corner at this point. He is very close to the corner. You have the screen advantage. You have the meter advantage. You could have played a footsies game right here. You could have you could have checked him with stand shorts. You could have done a forward roundhouse. You haven't done a single forward roundhouse. You're Ibuki and you haven't done a single forward roundhouse. You jump. Yep, and look at when you press that medium kick, by the way. Again, when do you press this medium kick? Come on, that was way too early in the sky. You get anti-aired. Bam. Now you don't have the life lead anymore. Or it's very close, but you don't have the life lead. Stand short. What happens when you... Oh, he, he, he mistimed it. He does it again? No. He jumps. Why would he jump? Because he's a nut right now. He's playing like a nut. And then look at what you do. You just throw out those ja that jab again. You have this innate problem of you just jabbing at, at a scramble situation. And that you got to stop that, David. You got to stop that. Right? You, you press a button incorrectly, you get counter hit. What happens when you get counter hit? Do you press another button again? Do you press another button again? No, you do not. Good. 
You don't press a button this time. You block the roundhouse and you hold down back. That's good. Well, but you you press the medium punch at the wrong time, by the way. You press a medium punch right there at the wrong time. That button wouldn't have even came out. Or would it? Yeah, see, you you pressed it twice. That's why it came out. Your, me your first medium punch that you pressed right here after the roundhouse was at the wrong time. Look, you hadn't recovered yet. That's why it doesn't come out. But you press it again. The second medium punch is what comes out. So you literally mashed it. That's what you did. When you blocked the roundhouse, that's what you did. Let's show that one more time. You blocked the roundhouse to get your medium punch. But if you want the medium punch, you wait for the proper time, then you press it. You don't just mash it. That's a mistake right there. Okay, you get the you get the counter hit. You dash, you try to get some mix up. You're negative, so he checks you on that. Okay, life bars are very similar. What happens here? Uh, you get you, you, there's a trade and then you go for a fierce. There's a trade and you go for a fierce. You could have just chilled. Look at that. You have more stun than he does. You've built up more stun than he does. If he just did a random slide right there, you would have gotten crush countered into a setup. And this is minus five, by the way, so he could have punished that with a stand short. But he doesn't. And then on top of that, he does crouch strong into run, which is negative, and you don't punish that. And then, what happens? Stand short. What happens after you block the stand short? Do you press another button? Yup, again, on the second frame of that stand strong. That tells me that you are just mashing in this situation. You block a button and your initial instinct is to mash. That's not okay. That is not okay. You're lucky it didn't hit you, so you get thrown. Bam. Now you gotta deal with the situation. Good anti air. And you gotta go through this. And you don't want a V reversal here because you want your V trigger. I like that idea to try to jab into cross up uh, side switch so you can get out of the corner. But you could have maybe done like the jump float out of the corner or jab strong into uh, EX Kunai to apply some pressure or jab into jump medium kick. Maybe that could have been a better idea, but you take the bigger risk right here by or well, jump medium kick at that range wouldn't have linked actually. So, but you take the risk of trying to get out of the corner, but because you don't have the life lead, it's easier for him to punish you because well, a good player is going to see that you don't have the life lead. So you're going to want to try to escape the corner. What happened right here? Did you just press another button? You got jabbed, David, and look what happened. You got jabbed, David. Look what happened. You got jabbed, and let's look at your button presses. Jab. Jab. You press jab twice after you got hit. You see? I mean, it worked, but that's not a good thing. You see, this is a fucking match analysis, yo. This is how you a analyze some shit. This is a real match analysis, okay? You pressed it three times, David. Three times. This is how players analyze matches, by the way. Yeah. And then, uh, you okay, you go for the late counter uh, crouch strong. You're still stuck in the corner. He presses his medium kick. And you gotta try to jump out, right? Bam, look what happens. Because you gotta try to jump out. Look at the amount of life you have, though, David. Look at the amount of stun that you've built up. Why would you try to jump right there? He has two bars. You have V-Trigger. 
You could play the patient game. This round is at the 68th seconds right here. Look at that, man. Zeku wins. Oh, he could have he done Jump Kunai. You're right about that. It's Ibuki. He could have done Jump Kunai. You're definitely right. I, I forgot that it's Ibuki. But still, you have 70% stun right there. You know? You have 70% stun right there. And and what I'm saying is that your your actions are you're just trying to escape and you're just trying to do something when you haven't chilled at all. You didn't chill at all. If you had done a jump kunai, that would have been that would have been the you know, a good thing because you would have at least you would have at least applied some pressure and got out of the corner or um, but however, alongside that jump kunai, let's say he expected you to jump kunai because you don't have the life lead and because you're about to get stunned. And if he just neutral jumped in the corner, you would have gotten hit for doing a jump kunai. But see, what I'm trying to, the principle, what I'm trying to really tell you here is that you didn't sit back. There was, there was something in your brain that wanted to just do something, take an action. Even if jump kunai is a good thing, it's a, it's an offensive risk. It's a risk. Regardless, it's a risk and you're and what you've shown is that you're just taking these risks and these offensive approaches.